everyone, Reese from RJC Models here, and today we are going to do a bit of a uh, re review. So, you may remember this little snippet. Okay, so here it is the Mirror Models CMP C15TA Armored Ambulance. Um, I've been looking quite forward to doing a Mirror Models kit, and I've been told that they're quite a nice, quite a nice model. So, let's have a look inside. The C15 TA armoured truck was developed by GM Canada along the concept lines of the American M3 Scout car. The chassis was that of Chevrolet C15A Canadian military pattern truck design. Between 1943 and 1945 there was a total of 3,961 built in Oshawa, Ontario. A late war ambulance version of this vehicle was introduced in 1945, but only a small number was produced. Some vehicles remain in, in service until 1960, used mainly by forces such as the Federation of Malia Police. To this day, a restored example of the C-15 TA armoured truck can be found in Canada War Museum in Ottawa, Ontario. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that little snippet. Um, believe it or not, that snippet was over two years old now. Um, and that was filmed in a very dimly lit bedroom um, on a giant, I think it was um, a puzzle board actually. Do you know what you, the sort of thing you put puzzles on and then fold it over um, to get the sort of contrast. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we are re-reviewing the Mirror Models uh, CMP Armoured Ambulance in 135th scale. Um, so what I'll do is, I'll move the camera down so you can see um, the bench and we'll re-review this kit and you guys can be able to actually be able to see um, the result and you actually be able to see the pieces. So I shall move the camera okay, down. Okay, so here we go. So this is the um, 135th scale CMP C15 TA Armoured Ambulance. Uh, kit number is 35106. Um, I'll say it's 35th scale, made by Mirror Models. Um, so we'll have a look in the box. Right off the bat on the top there, um, we have some very interesting looking instructions. Um, I have since started a Mirror Models kit um, on a live stream of, of last year, I believe it was. Um, and this is very standard sort of instructions for them. So you've got a nice colour cooler at that side. Um, I think I've actually done this a bit backwards. So there's the parts all going together um, to the front of the truck there bits and pieces on there um, for opening or closed um, hinges engine and chassis rails on the bottom down there and then this is the startings of it all there so this is the engine all going together transmission um, body it, it fit into the body and then um, the springs on there like that. Um, so this is quite, um, I think it's a different sort of plastic that they use to ordinary, some, say someone, someone like Tamiya or something like that. Um, but and they actually bag it really nicely. Let's just get this out of the way. Um, so in this one, we've got a few sheets, or very few sheets of brass etch. Let's just get this out of the way. Okay, whoops, it's easy, here we go. So there's the engine. And there's quite nicely, mold, nicely molded strong plastic there which is quite nice um, strange sort of color into it it's, it's slightly got a brown tinge to the gray the gray plastic there so that's quite nice um, in here we have your decals which again are very very nice very nice um, very nice backing paper very thin very few um, marks around the edges and it's not yellowed um, here we have I can what I only assume is uh, your clear parts. So this will have a film over it, so you have to take the, the red film off of the, the side there. And then we've got in this bag here we have some very, very nice photo etch with I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but just in there there is some uh, checker plate, which is really, really nice. It's quite a nice touch when, when companies do that and put the checker plates on there. It just brings that level of realism out in, in the models. Um, so there is, here's your hinges, and here's your. I, I can what is I can only assume is your uh, boot, uh, your bonnet catches, and your so you can get into the the bonnet there. Again, some more photo etch, which is quite in a nice protective sort of 
um, plastic, I can only assume that is, like a sticky back plastic. Again, some more nicely molded checker plate there. The radiator fan. Um, I can imagine that some ped was in there as well, so that'd be quite a nice touch. Got a few more little decals. Um, so this is your, um, oh, there we go, let's come this way a bit, there we go. So this is your dashboard on there. And then your nice little decal, which I believe is some more markings. So there's some more markings on there for you. Okay, so next bag I'm gonna look at is the wheels. So I think these, again, these are all molded plastic. And I'm just gonna be really careful with these because some really, really little parts in there. Um, so your wheels are actually really, really nice. You've got some lovely, I don't know if you guys can see that all that well. There we go, you've got some lovely Dunlop lettering just there and some tire some tire markings. So I think actually the good thing with this is that you could, um, with a good bit of dry brush and you can actually get that to pop out and actually you'd actually be able to see it. Um, some wire, which I can only assume is for aerials and um, HT leads in the engine. Again, some more. Very, very lovely molded. Uh, there we go. Some very, very lovely molded wheels in there. The radiator. Uh, again, this obviously needs a bit of work doing to it to get those veins to pop out a little bit. But again, it'd be very, very nice touch. Uh, what else have we got in here? So some very small little bits and bits of transmission just there. Um, oh, I can note that. Can, this can only what I assume is the... Oops. There's a leaf spring just there, I believe. Oops, sorry guys, you can't see that. So just a leaf spring there, I believe. Some more wire and some other little bits and pieces there, which I believe are just like the little detail parts of the engine and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna put those, push those to the side just so they're out of the way. And I'll pop those back in the bag in a second. Uh, the next bag coming through, let's open this one, is, uh, I believe your chassis yourself. So yeah, there's the chassis. Very, some very, very nice molded plastic. Some leaf springs just in there. Um, both chassis rails, so it'd be a, a two-part chassis, which is quite nice. It's quite a nice little feature. Your axles in the same bag, which is quite nice. Again, very, very lovely molded plastic, if you guys can see that very well. Some lovely rivet and bolt detail in there. Um, again, on the other side, some lovely bolt detail again. Coming through, we have the... Oh, bits flying off, that's what we have. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, some more parts of the body, I believe, that is there. Going, coming through there, which is very, very nice. Yeah, I think this is like your bonnet detail and that sort of thing, which is quite nice. Let's put those out of the way. So here you have your screen, which I think that, that red bit sits into, which is quite nice. Um, I do like Mirror Models plastic. It's very hard and very durable, which is quite nice. And quite easy to work with as well, I believe. Um, so there's another nice bit of... Um, windscreen in there and then the main part of the plastic oh, which is quite a big bag so here are the actual body sides themselves again as you can see some lovely lovely molded in detail in there so you've got some lovely rivets there and along here are your buckles and your straps for the the, the canvas roof same that side and the roof there it is itself so that'd be that would take some nice dry brushing uh, a steering wheel and that sort of bits and pieces in there and then the last bit is just the door you got some of the doors um, the um, bottom of the, the truck itself the floor and I think that's a bulkhead just there just here is one of the bulkheads so yeah all in all a very very lovely kit um, what I like is the fact there's no clear parts um, sometimes clear parts can be a bit a bit iffy um, especially on aircraft molded canopies can be a bit of a funny one um, but other than that this is a very very lovely kit and I do look forward to building this one um, I hope you enjoyed that little blast from the past um, and the sort of little information bit at the start there is uh, something I started um, and did with the Norton built Norton review which I think you can find on the channel as well also um, so yeah I'm gonna remove the, the old one off the channel pop this one up um, the, the Reviews going forward will be more like this one, so with the, the little bit of information about the particular real-life vehicle, or whatever it is I'm um, reviewing. So, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to see when we go live next, and our next videos go up. 
Um, also, if you're interested and you like your live videos, tune in to the Sprue Crew. So the Sprue Crew is myself, Festa67, which is Colin, uh, Mr. Loth, Dave's model making, uh, Dave's workshop, and uh, Sergeant Bones. We all do, uh, sorry, and Dad, sorry, Dad, didn't mean to forget you out there, so Mike Mountain, scaling models. Um, we will start doing some um, some live videos and some live content, and doing a bit of sort of what I can imagine is like collaborations and stuff with each other, which would be quite nice. Um, so pop over to uh, Sprue Crew on YouTube and hit subscribe there and the notification there so you know when we go live. Uh, there will be a Facebook page and that sort of stuff coming live soon as well, I believe. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. Um, so I'll link below to the Sprue Crew. Also below will be um, the link to the partner who we are partnered with, Harrison Brown. Um, Adrian, I haven't actually got one of his, his leaflets at hand at the moment, but I'll grab, oh, there it is. So I've just seen it out of the corner of my eye. So this is Harrison Brown. This is who uh, we are partnered with. Pop over and as you can see, you've got some of the uh, his website at the bottom there. Pop over and see Adrian. You can get quite a bit, quite a few bits and pieces over there. Um, pop over to our, our Facebook site. Obviously, as you can see there, RJC Models on Facebook and on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. See you later.